we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's RG3's Eagles going up against Stafford's Lions. Now we'll go down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week three matchup. Lions, Eagles coming up here on EA Sports. The season moving along as we get set for today's week three action. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And I guess the big question, Phil, before kickoff is what do you expect here today? Well, I think we got two really good football teams playing here. And I'll say this. I don't like to say this very much, Jim, but it's true. And this game here today, it's about the quarterbacks. Which one is going to have the hot hand? We go to the field. It's Darren Sproles back deep for the kickoff. And Sam Martin is ready to get this one underway. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Coming into the huddle, the second overall pick in the 2012 draft out of Baylor University, Robert Griffin, or as everyone calls him these days, Archie 3 The Eagles will take the snap from the 25. Sproles is marked down after a gain of four. Here's our look at the Eagles offense. They will be expecting far greater efficiency today. A week ago, they turned it over on three occasions. And it'll be second down at six after the running play on first down. The Lions defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Darren Sproles makes the catch. this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Offense lines up here. First down at the 36. Handoff by Griffin. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. As we take a look at the defense for the first time today, these starters and the secondary will be challenged today in both the passing and running games. Second down following the run. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. They'll run it here. Ballard's tackled down after a gain of 12. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Yeah, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but, you know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. First down at the 46. Ballard's got it on the handoff, and they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game, but I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Second down and five. He'll get it again. Going to be a tackle for a loss. The Lions guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. They come to the line on third down. They did an excellent job of executing in these spots last week. Griffin in the shotgun formation. Catch made, and he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. First down at the 42, and Sproles gets the football, and they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, 
we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Second down and five. They want to keep feeding him the football. Brought down at the 32. Rose, a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. The Eagles from the 32. They'll run it with him again. He's brought down. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. This has been a long drive so far. RG3 from the gun. Looking across the middle. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Now, the next snap from inside the red zone, where a week ago they starred as a team. What a drive this has been. First down at the 18. The give. Brought down after a gain of 15. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? First and goal from the three. Gives it to him again. And Sproles is brought down. Coming up, second down. Mounting a serious drive. Marching down the field and taking their time. Natal is there to make the tackle. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal. What are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. This long drive continues. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. Well, the defense knew that they were probably going to see a run here in third and goal. And what do they do? They don't, it doesn't matter. They still get blown off the line of scrimmage by the offensive line. Nice job. The Eagles for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. Stafford's going to be the man at the helm today. Eight years of seasoning for this quarterback. Johnson's a receiver in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And Joseph in on the tackle. Good job by the receiver. Running into that defense, through the zone, finding the open space, and making a nice catch. The Lions have to be hoping this doesn't turn out like last week's game. Tough luck losers a week ago and trailing in another tight one right now, Phil. We're going to find out if they learned anything from last week's tight loss. So, Jim, when you get in situations like this, it's about making that one play that gives your team a good chance to win. Alexander's lined up in the slot. The Lions snap it at the 36. Take a look at the Lions offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. Third down on the way. Split backfield here. Stafford's got it in the gun. And he's taken down. Well, I don't know who made the mistake that time, the quarterback or the running backs. They go out of the pass. The blitz comes by the defense. Not enough blockers on the offensive side. And the defense wins out. They take the QB down. And so now they'll call on Martin to punt the football away. Rolls from the 24. He's tackled at the 28. 
Very lucky that time on that punt return. The coverage was outstanding, and the returner is just lucky he didn't fumble the football. First down and 10. Darren Sproles takes the football. And that's enough for a first down. Sproles is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. First down at the 41. Sproles, and he's brought down right at the 43. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. The Eagles take it from the 43. Sproles is taking the handoff. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. The Eagles offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. Offense lines up here. The Eagles will take the snap from the 45. That's a gain of seven. The first quarter comes to an end, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by the 2015 Yukon Denali. We're back here in this low-scoring affair. Second down and three following that nice run. Nickel formation here for the defense. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Looking to the right side and throwing. Griffin's pass will go for an incompletion. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. Third down and three. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch and he's got the first. Well, you get a couple first downs. It just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this. When you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. Play number six coming up on this drive. And Matthews is lined up now as a slot receiver. Out to Stills. Eagles in for the score. Well, good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. Lined up now for the point after. Makes the PAT. And the kicker's ready to go. Runs up to grab it at the four. And he's out across the 20 tackled at the 21. The Lions come out for the next possession. Moreno lined up in the backfield. Now first and 10. Stafford with the gill. Nice tackle. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Lions have it at the 24. He stacked up at that point. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Johnson's in the slot. Third and six. Throws to the right, and he hauls it in. Tackles made. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. Stafford lines up in the pistol. First down at the 38. Going to go draw. And that's a gain of 10.
When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback and nobody's prepared for the run. Stafford's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First down at the 46. Staying with the ground. He's brought to a halt. If you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more care. First down at the 36. And he's forced to the ground. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, if you can read the blitz that is coming, you have to keep the running backs in there to pick up some of those blitzers. They don't do it that time. They get outnumbered, and the quarterback takes a sack. Alexander is going to get set in the slot for this snap. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. Joseph's there that time for the tackle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Ebron's shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. Stafford from the shotgun. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. This will be a 54-yard field goal attempt. An empty possession for the offense. Interesting little chess match game here as they miss the long field goal and set up the opponents now with an excellent starting point. Anytime you talk about a long field goal, it's 50-50 it's at best. That time, the mechanics of the situation were not perfect. Doesn't look like a good hold, and that's why they missed. First down at the 44, and Sproles gets the football. That's a tackle at the 48. The Eagles would love to run the ball like they have so far. Sproles has been a huge part of it here in the first half, Bill, the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back, boy, is he taking it advantage of every opportunity. Rose is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Here's Ertz. That brings the play to an end. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. That's dropped by Ertz, who couldn't bring it in. I know he has a lot of talent, but this has to be so frustrating to the quarterback and the coaches, too. Because when you're wide open like that and drop that pass, that's tough to take. The Eagle snap it at the 36. Trying to work that left side. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Griffin's lined up. Two tight ends set. Has his man. Gains 11. Goals, roll the dice and pick up the first on fourth down. Yeah, I like that analogy. Roll the dice. Sometimes you got to take a chance and hope it comes up seven. Well, I don't know about the seven, but they pick up the first down. Sproles is in the backfield. The Eagles from the 22. Darren Sproles takes the football. And that's good for only a yard or two. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Offense lines up here. 
Second and eight. Makes the reception. Eagles in the end zone. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Eagles for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Lions are getting ready for the return. And can they return to a competitive state in this one as the game is starting to get out of hand? The scores 21 to 0. Takes it from the four, and here we go. He's going to be tackled right around the 24 yard line. The Lions now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drop. They come out in a dime package. The Lions take it from the 23. Here's the handoff. He's headed right. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Two-minute warning. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The defense comes out of the dime. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. Reaches out and snatches it. First down here after the completion. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Stafford in shotgun formation. And incomplete. What a hit that time. Well, it's so hard to do this nowadays to jar the football out of the hands of the receiver. But the defender did it that time. He hit him. That football came loose. Incomplete pass. Stafford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's looking to the ball is out. A recovery by the defense. The defense comes up with the big play. The hit and the recovery of the football. Uh, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. The Eagles are set for their next possession. Split backfield here. First and 10. Ballard's handed the football. Levy's there to make the tackle. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Split backfield here. Looking to the right side and throwing. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Defense, play the situation. It's third long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you and then let him catch it and come up and make the tackle. It sprawls in the backfield. Third down and 13. Throw to the left. He has the grab. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. The Eagles come out with a split backfield. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Looking to go deep. This is going to set up a change of possession. Good job by the defense that time. Fourth down, they were ready for everything. Very aggressive, fast. They make the play, and this could change the game around. Offense lines up here. Tight ends in motion here. Stafford from the gun. Got the completion. They'll mark him at the 46. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. We'll head back to the field now. Daniel Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Second down and 10. On the money. 
Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. The Lions have it at the 39. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Well, quarterbacks go on third down. They got to make a decision to get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming after you. That time, just not good enough, and he throws an incompletion. Didn't have the distance. I think it was a risky decision to send him out there and kick this long field goal. They miss it, and look what they've done. They've given the other team's offense very good field position. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw. Uh, nice throw and catch just short of the first down. Second down and one. Picks up eight here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Griffin from the gun. All is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. The Eagles, one timeout remaining. Second down here. in the shotgun formation. Darren Sproles makes the catch. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. It's third down coming up. RG3 has it under center. The defense gets a sack. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. The Eagles take it from the 38. Griffin's got the football after the play fake. They'll turn it over on downs. The teams head to the locker room, and we'll be heading to the studio to our pal Larry Ridley as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Eagles are in a good flow now two straight weeks, and much like last week, are playing well enough to win. The Lions will have to figure out a way to make a comeback in the second half. All right, let's do it. Here's a look at the first half highlights. Eagles open up on offense. Sproles is going to stay between the tackles, and he'll end up sprinting into the end zone. They'll take the early advantage. Eagles lined up at the 38. Hurts has got the catch here on the quick pass, and he ends up at the 24-yard line before he stopped on the play. Eagles now later on the drive. Griffin's got the completion here, and 13 yards later, he'll go in for the score. That puts them on top by 14. Now to late in the first half, the pass will be caught over the middle, and this play will go for six. Eagles up now by 21. So that'll do it for us. We'll go back now to Philadelphia for the second half. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. He'll take it from the four. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down coming up. Here's the first snap of the second half. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and five. Throws to the right. Tate's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Tackled down at the 46-yard line. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Tim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. First down at the 46. Gets the handle here. That's a gain of eight. 
And here we have second down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Right back to him. Middle. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it, to see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. They're going to get him here for a sack. He's one of the best outside pass rushers in the NFL. What a job bedtime showing speed and the talent to sack the quarterback. Even after he was hurt, still able to come in the game and get it done. Second down now. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Well, Jeff, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. Third and a long way to go. The defense gets the sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. No good. An empty trip for the offense. Well, it was a long field goal attempt, but this time they're unable to come up with any points at all. Yeah, and when you get in situations like this, everything has to be perfect. The snap, the hold, and the kick. And it wasn't, and that's why they missed a field goal. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Tackle right around midfield. Second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Handoff made. Sproles looking for space. Game. 18. The Eagles continue to pound the football here in the second half, and why stop now? Sproles has been brilliant, and he's shown no reason to stop giving him the football. Well, but it's working well. Don't stop. The running game is hot. The offensive linemen feel the power. They love it. Just keeps running right at it. Nice job by the quarterback finding the open guy short. They get the completion. They still do not get the first down, though. RG3 from the gun. Darren Scrolls makes the catch. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Third and short. And Matthews has got it. First down. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. First and goal from the 10. Ballard's going to secure the handoff for a gain of about five. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Second and goal from the five. Griffin going to take off with it. Stephen Tullett in on the play. Nothing too exciting here. Just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think. And he's in for the touchdown. having deep belief in your offensive line in the third and goal your offensive line just rope raids the defense out there to get the touchdown running the football the eagles now will tack on the extra point add the extra point the kick is good the lions have been flat out manhandled so far Perhaps their special teams unit can change the momentum of this one. They need something to go their way. 
the scores 28 to 0. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. The Lions ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Makes the catch. Tammy's met at the 30. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Lions will take the snap from the 30. Will go ground. And that's a gain of nine. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half. If you're on the offensive side, don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Eyeing that left side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Keeps it here. Over to Ebron. That picks up seven. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The Lions snap it at the 41. Complete to Calvin Johnson. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. He'll pick up seven this time. And that will close out the third quarter here in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. Second and three after that last carry. Ebron's out wide on the left. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Almost intercepted. Looking ahead, the Eagles will be on the road in Washington next week, while the Lions will be playing at home next week. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Stafford's lining up in the pistol. Handoff, middle, and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Matthew Stafford will be under center. He's going to get another carry. Barwin's going to make the tackle. Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it. That decision might cost you this football game. And that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Second down. The Eagles have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Sproles has been leading the charge on this front, Phil. And they've done it many ways. They've done it with power runs, going outside, going inside, draw plays. Everything is working for this running game today, and it's been impressive to watch. will go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Finds his mark. Casey's tackled down after a gain of seven. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Will go ground. 
tackle is made, and the first down is picked up. This is an awesome job by the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the offense. Just keep picking up those first downs. We've got a big lead here in the second half. Keep that clock running. Sproles is in the backfield. First down at the 40. Nice piece of running, and that's a two-yard gain. That leads us to second down. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Catch made, and a gain of four. Play number six coming up on this drive. The jumbo set on the field. Third and three, takes it from the eye. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Ballard's got it on the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they move it in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. The Eagles come out. Jumbo package on the field. Got the completion. Picked up a couple that time. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. And Matthews is a receiver in the slot. He's tackled right at the 43. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. The long drive continues. Griffin's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That pass well defended. The coach is going to go for it. Split backfield here. The Eagles take it from the 43. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. It's fourth and long, and the offense has a big lead, and they go for it, and they fail. So let's look at it from the positive side. The defense, they can at least say they did that good today. The Lions are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. He's setting up here. He's been sacked five times today. Really been beat up. The Lions take it from the 43 to Ebron. Brought down at the 44. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Over to Ebron. Brought down at the 38. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Moreno lined up in the backfield. The Lions take it from the 38. Makes the catch in open space. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do is just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. He's got the catch. Ball's on the ground, and the recovery is made by the defense. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down, offense readying for the snap. Sproles trying to power his way right up the middle. Gets about nine on the play. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, 
there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. It sprawls in the backfield. Riffin's got it in the gun. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. They bring him to the turf. you got to protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it, the way these defensive players can run, you're going to get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. First down at the 40. And he's taken down. Stafford's the injured player, and we'll take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Daniel Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. A lot of yardage to make up here after that sack. It's second down. Get ready. Three, three, three. Snap it out of the gun. To Ebron. And that picks up three. Well, I guess the only good thing you say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. Let's go. From the gun. And a nice catch by Calvin Johnson. Number two. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. Let's go. The Lions snap it at the 26. Throws the pass underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Let's go. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Off the mark. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines. That time the quarterback didn't do that. And that's why it was incomplete. Third down and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Over to Ebron. Good job by the defense. You know, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The kick is good. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Eagles now will start their drive at the 23. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And Sproles gets the football for about four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Split backfield here. To the ground, taking it up the middle. Third down, following the run. Dropping back three. Here's Ertz. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see what they do on first down, following that huge play. He'll throw it over the middle. Taken down at the 39. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. Double tight end formation. Three-step drop. And he's forced to the ground. The defense pushed the offense back with the sack, and the offense needs nine now on third down. Throwing now to his left. And 
and the pass goes incomplete. Flowers in on the coverage. You got to try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't go off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're going to be as good if you had good balance. That time the throws off the mark. The offense is still on the field here on fourth down, needing nine for the first. The Eagles will take the snap from the 45. He's going to be tackled right around the 31-yard line. First down here after the completion. This will be the final snap. Griffin, play action. Airing it out. Almost intercepted. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement, like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them. So they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more. And that's how you get a winning streak going. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.